India, a nation of one billion people, its economy surging, a nation on the verge of becoming a global superpower, but also a nation struggling against poverty, hunger, and disease. The Polio Plus Committee of Rotary International has made India a prime target in its campaign to eradicate polio worldwide. The nation's Rotary Clubs, more than 2,500 strong, have joined the battle and helped cut the rate of infection by more than 99%. Now, as victory appears within reach, the stakes have never been higher, nor the challenge greater. If polio is not eradicated, it'll come back as strongly as it, as it ever has in the past. No child anywhere in the world will be safe. In November 2006, 20 Americans journeyed to India to participate in a sub-national immunization day. My wife Charlene said one day, we've given a lot of money, our district has, but we've never seen this thing and we've never been there. They arrived at a time of crisis. We've uh, just suffered a little setback. I would not call it a huge setback. In 2005, only 66 confirmed cases of polio had been reported nationwide. India seemed on the brink of becoming polio-free. But in the first 11 months of 2006, the number of new cases jumped almost tenfold to 522. Most occurred in the state of Uttar Pradesh, where population density, malnutrition, and poor sanitation lead to chronic illness. Under such conditions, children need extra doses of the polio vaccine. They used to say that three doses of the vaccine are enough. In southern India, they found perhaps seven were enough. In other parts of India, the number went up to 12. Here in UP, perhaps even 17 or 18 is not enough. The government's own immunization program needed additional support. These, these kids tend to contract polio because they've not received the birth dose or the doses thereafter. So, on November 12th, the Indian National Polio Plus Committee helped stage the year's eighth immunization day. Almost 70% of the country was covered. What we are doing here is really trying to supplement the routine immunization. In Uttar Pradesh alone, health workers dispensed polio vaccine at more than 100,000 immunization booths. In the industrial city of Muradabad, the city's 13 Rotary Clubs sponsored 65 booths and provided support to more than 2,800 others. It's incredible. With not too many dollars, these uh, Rotarians and, and our partners in the World Health Organization and with UNICEF and, and, and the state of India are doing a tremendous job, very effectively, very efficiently. Thank you very much. And I'm proud of my Rotarians of this district, of Pradabad. They are working very hard. They are working very hard. The citizens were eager to participate. I would request all of the inner citizens to please make that child drink the polio drops. It's our duty to make India free from such a big disease. I am a father of I I watched a father bring his baby this morning to be immunized. 
after that was done, he shook each of the Rotarians' hands, shook their hand and put his hand to his heart as if to say thank you for saving this child. By the end of Booth Day, more than 17 million infants and children had been immunized in Uttar Pradesh alone. Still, that left more than half unaccounted for. So, for the next six days, teams of government health workers visited every house in every village in Uttar Pradesh. This is team composition. Uh, three persons with the team. Uh, okay. uh, today they have to cover 120 houses. Oh, wow. So on, uh, number one house to 120 houses. Mm. They have 125,000 workers who are going from door to door in the entire state. The, the figures are mind-boggling. When the week was over, as many as 136 million children had been immunized. More NIDs were scheduled for early 2007. This is the winter season and the virus is very not so active. We have done very good rounds and uh, if we do two, three more uh, good rounds, then uh, we are able to finish the polio. And the dream of Polio Plus, happy, healthy children in a polio-free India, was still alive. Well, one thing we hope to do on this trip is to be able to go back and tell other Rotarians how close we are, really, to finishing this task. If we don't get those last handful of cases, really, probably will come back, uh, probably stronger than it ever was. So this is a big push and, uh, and a very compact sort of time frame. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 99% of the job is done. We cannot give it up only at the last hurdle. We've got to cross that hurdle. And believe me, the job that is to be done can be done.